system video, the benefits of having a rinse system. What does rims mean? It means circulating infusion mashing system. What's the purpose? The purpose of the rinse system is to keep mashing temperatures constant throughout your mash. Whether that be an hour mash or an hour and a half mash, you want to keep that temperature consistent throughout the mash. Why? Because I like to make my redo my brews a couple of times just to get the rest perfect. And I want to be able to mash at the same temperature all the time. So it's one less variable I have to deal with. The reason why I started a rent system where I built it is because during winter my temperatures would drop by 10 degrees, 15 degrees, and I have to start boiling water. And then sometimes I boil too much and temperature went up like 4 degrees and I have to put cold water going back and forth. It's too much of a trouble for me. So I invested on a rim system. So what I decided to go with is a 1.5 inch rims tube. 16 inches in length. And then got my 1.5 inch tri clamps. The gasket. I went with some quick disconnect and right here is a heating element it's a 12 inches stainless steel heating element and this is uh, the cover so the wiring is on the inside it's, it's got a good seal on it so water doesn't leak in there you know you don't want water and electricity mixing, mixing together so let's go ahead and put it together right Before hooking up the second part of the tube, it is important to make sure the heating element is not touching any part of the inside of the tube. So this is what I'm doing here. I pick it up and I look down and make sure that the element is not touching any part of the inside. If it is touching, the element is flexible enough for you to be able to adjust it with your hand. So this is the control box. This is the brain of the system. I bought the kit from electro brewing supply everything came together all the switches the controls except for the box and the controller are from Auburn Auburn instruments so this is how the uh, it looks inside it's not the prettiest looking box but it gets the job done together so this right here is pump number one. This controls the first pump. This one right here is pump number two. This three is the heating element. This one, this tells me that the heating element is on. And this right here, when it turns on and off, it's telling me that the heating element is getting a current which heats it up. This just tells me the whole thing is connected. And this one is for the controller. The reason I put this for the controller is because after I was done mashing, I'm still using pump one and pump two. Not a, I did not want this to be on. And they, in the kit, they send you two extra switches, which is great for that. So uh, after I was done and I realized that they don't want this on all the time, I, I connected this one, which is pretty straightforward. You just do what you did here with the other ones. This is a emergency shut off so if something happens you just press this button and it shuts off everything so you don't have to go one two three four just one and everything shut off this is the master switch come with keys my plugs yep, for pump one pump two and this is for the heating element and then this is the wire for the sensor that's connected and the heat and the in the rims too. We got our strike water in the mush tun. 
we pump from here into here and now I set it up to recirculate just within the mash tun. So what I like to do before I even go in is once I have my track water in here recirculate through the system because when I disconnect from here to here it gets air in the line. So it's very important to get that air out because once you go in and you start recirculating the wart, if you get an air lock in here, you can't open the valve all the way to get the air out because then you start sucking up wart too fast and then you end up with a stuck, stuck um, mash, which happened the first time. I didn't realize I ended up with a stuck, ma stuck uh, mash. So now I just circulate it to get that air out so I don't have to deal with that later. And then something to consider on your system, depending on how you set up your tube, it's completely up to you. If you have vertical or wherever you put it, you know, I want to make sure you don't get any air locks in your pump. So this is what I like to do first. All right, so now we got all the air out, flowing full on. So you can see it. So we got all the air that was out in the lines, push all the air that was out, that was in the tube. So I just turned it on and let it, you know, let the pump push that throughout. So now when I go in, I got my grains in there and the Mash, and I don't have to open this other way. I can just like open it enough to recirculate it. All right, so we go in. We're mashing now. We're recirculating the mash. So coming out of here, going in here, doing this loop, coming out, and going back in there. You can see it's recirculating. I'm not recirculating too fast either um, because we don't want you don't want to open the valve all the way because it's gonna suck it up too hard and then the grains are gonna compact and then you're gonna stop the flow. So you can see the valve it's not open all the way. It's only like maybe 20%, 25% open. And this is perfect. This is I do not get sucked parts with this. Now I just kind of eyeball it, you know, it's kind of like a try and everything, but this is what works fine. So I like to put this in here just kind of to double check my temperature. As you can see it's, uh, well, maybe you can't see it, but it's 145 right now. I completely miss, miss my strike temperature of 152, which it's okay. This is the whole point of the rim system. So this is reading 145. The temp, temp controller, it's reading 145, 144, 145. See, I set it to 152. This is that one that said 152. The red, it's the actual temperature. So right now, I have pump one on. And then pump two is off, and then this is the heating element. This one is telling me that the heating element is on, and this white light, which is kind of hard to see, is on right now. So this turns on when the heating element is heating. So when, it, it, when the controller sends a signal for it to heat, this turns on. So once it catches, once it catches up to 152. And then the controller is just going to keep the temperature there, 152. It'll go up 153, 152, like that. And it'll keep steady. And then you see the slide turn on and off. And this lets you know when the heater is on and when it's off. Even though the whole thing is on. Some final thoughts on the rim system. The main reason I built the rim system is because I want consistency on my home brews. I like to brew my beers few times to change a few things that I like about the beer and one thing to eliminate it's my mashing temperature is one variable I have to deal with I can focus on the recipe formulation or something else 
and this eliminates the the temperature variable that I don't have to worry about oh I might sit at 153 because I missed my temperature that I wanted at 150 so that's one variable that's eliminated another thing I want to mention is scorching I've read on multiple sources people are scared about scorching the war because it's going through the heating element I want to mention that that's never happened to me you know if you have a good temperature sensor in your system it's gonna read that the temperature is going above where you set it so it's gonna the controller is gonna shut off the element and it's not gonna keep on heating uh, if, even if you get a uh, stuck sparks which I did my first time the temperature only went up like a couple of degrees and then it shut off and then it didn't go any higher than that you know I like the system it works for me uh, I encourage people to try it out you know if you're having problems with mashing, especially in the winter in places like the East Coast where it snows, this is awesome thing to have. Um, so, thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, leave in the comments. We will also be listing all the parts exactly where we got them from on the notes section of the video. Thank you for watching and cheers.